Okay, this one's about putting a set of gauges on. I'm using a high buck set of gauges here. I'll do another one with uh, analog gauges and uh, we'll uh, see what that does there. But uh, I've got the gauges hooked up to low side and high side. The red down there is going to high side, the blue is going to low side. We've got a pretty high ambient here. We're about 90 degrees, 89.7. And all that is is a temperature probe that is uh, giving an ambient temperature near the return air. Now this isn't a real live air conditioner. This is a mule that I use for uh, testing. And you can see my probe right down there, that little wire. That is reading return air temperature. Okay. And the thermometer is right there. Now I'm going to start this thing up and I want you to look at the gauge set. Okay. The left hand side is the uh, low side, right hand side is the high side. You notice they're both the same. So I'm going to start this machine up and we'll watch these things change. Okay, your outdoor compressor's on. And you'll see the numbers start going down on the low side and up on the high side. Now I'm going to set this for saturation. Now saturation simply means uh, the number on top is the pressure, the PSIG. The number on bottom is the equivalent evaporating temperature of the refrigerator. You look on the right hand side, the top number is the high side pressure and its equivalent condensing temperature. Now if you watch this, you'll see a few things changing here. That head pressure is going to continue to go up. Initially the suction pressure went down some, but those don't mean much. These things take a little while to settle down. And uh, 10 minutes is probably what I would expect. So we're going to get back in this thing after a few minutes of run time. Okay, let's kind of take a look. This thing's all settled down. And look at the numbers. Now, this is an R22 machine. It's an older air conditioner. Okay, if you look at this, you can see on the high side, for 240, essentially 242, uh, and we're showing the saturated, which if this is 242, it means it is condensing at 116 degrees. Now earlier we noted that the ambient at the outdoor unit, now this, this thing's all in the same room, so it's a little goofy, but uh, the ambient around the outdoor unit is 89. And if you subtract 89 from 116, you get 27. So this machine is operating at 27 degrees. It is condensing at 27 degrees above ambient temperature. Okay, what does that mean? That means it's fairly close to where you would expect this age machine to be. Uh, heat moves very quickly when you get around 30 degree difference. It moves from one place to another very quickly. The closer the temperature is to the ambient, the less the slower the heat moves. Well, this one is running pretty close to 30, and on these older machines, we used to say 30 plus ambient is the proper condensing temperature. Now this was a high efficiency unit in its time, so the 27 sounds pretty good. So 242 pounds, 116 degrees saturation, 
with an 80, uh, 89 degree ambient showing uh, it's performing pretty well. Okay, let's look at the other one. This is the low side. And the saturated here, we got, well, 72 pounds. And the saturated temperature is 44.9. Uh, that's probably not too far off. A return error is coming back at that 89. It's really high. Uh, so I would expect something like that. We don't like seeing this number below 40. If it gets below 40, it's getting close to freezing up the coil. Of course, it's below 30 degrees, 32, but it's going to start freezing that coil. Uh, this is well above it, but it, it does have a high return air temperature. That's the air coming from the structure into the system. Okay, I've put a temperature probe in the supply air coming off of the coil. I put it downstream a little ways. I don't like to put them right next to the coil because you tend to get varying temperatures there. It mixes a little better farther down. But I've stuck that temperature probe in the supply air. So I'm reading 71 degrees. So what the heck does that mean? Well, 89 degrees was what my ambient temperature. And the duct temperature coming out of the coil is 71. Uh, so 89 minus 71 is 18 degrees. Well, these things in th at this age were 18 to 22. So it's probably not too far off. This sounds pretty, pretty close to being right. Okay, so you can see how all those numbers kind of fit together. So these numbers kind of give you an idea of somewhere where you should be. Uh, the numbers vary with the inside and outside ambient temperatures, so uh, there will always be differences if you have these different temperatures. But that's what the gauge set means and what the temperature across the coil means. We'll go into superheat and subcool in another uh, couple of videos.